quant and which is the art of the fixed ones. The nomads, they move in the space, so they carry the art with themselves, no? They carry the music, you can, you can have a flute in your pocket, you take out the flute and play. You have the poetry inside of you, or you know by heart the poetry, you can sing, uh, recite, chant, and dance, acting, theater, all these are the arts of the nomads. The, arts, the, the, the one is carrying in himself. Well, a piano player cannot carry the piano, no? but you can carry you know, violin, guitar, flute, saxophone, all these things, voice, no? with you. The fixed artists, they are placed in a place they cannot move, which is the art of the fixed people. Mainly architecture, no? because they build in the land, they fix in the land, they make the city in the land. No? And almost all the plastic art and all the architecture and the things, are, they come from Cain. Because Stagfir Adin, Abil, was killed, so finished. No? So mostly all of us are descendants of Cain. And we are living in the cities, and we are building buildings, and we are covering and covering with concrete all the earth. No? If only nomads in the earth, Alhamdulillah, earth will be completely pure, because only music and only reciting and just cutting to make a flute, you need to cut only one, one cane. No? And you make, uh, huh? for a violin, you need very little wood. No? For a building, brrr, for a city, no? for trains, no? for shipping. In Spain, they finished in one time when the train uh, the thing came. They finished with a lot of woods only for making railways. No? So we mostly are all of us descendants of this envious one, this Cain one. So. Now I am very envious of the other artists, no? of the musicians. With a violin, they, they make people happy. They go very deeply in the heart of the people with a flute, with a singing. No? For me to get in the heart of the people, making sculptures, as you will see, I am, you know, melting bronze, cutting steel. For an exhibition, I need a camion, a truck, paying a lot of money, moving a lot of energy. You know? For building a building, you need a lot of... No, but uh, alhamdulillah, we are on this. You know? So, well, this is just to make an explanation about you know, of which kind of art come from the, from the holy book. You know? this too, you know? So now, I ask forgiveness to be a descendant of Cain and for making all the stuff you will see here, no? Safiladin. <laughs> but we try to make it, anyway, art is making beauty, no? The musicians, they try to make beautiful music. The cooks, art cooks, they try to make nice, uh, beautiful taste, uh, ta -ta, all these things, no? Because I, this is what uh, my friend wrote for me, no? To say it good, say it good, no? This is a hadith, no? Mm. From Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna Allah jamilun yuhibbul jamal. No? Certainly, Allah, God, is beautiful and he loves beauty. Is it what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. And this, because beauty is one of the most sharpened arrows to a heart. No? When you see beauty, your soul, your heart is completely melted. No? We men are melted in beautiful women. We, belt, we melted in beautiful landscapes. We are melted in beautiful buildings. We are melting in beauty always. No? We are melting in, in beautiful music. We are melting in nice tastes. All these things we are, no, so. 
Beauty is the most direct link to your heart with the Creator. The most directly. And you don't have to think anything. No reading, no studying, no knowing, no PhD. You see beauty, you fall in love. So you are directly, no? In the Greek mythology, you've seen this one, Cupid, no? Which is the making people fall in love with an arrow, no? So he's pointing and shit. And it's always, when anyone falls in love, this is a, you, you draw a heart and an arrow crossing the heart, no? We are like this always. We are, our heart is completely shooted by arrows from his arrows. Allah, alhamdulillah, he's got archers, malaikas, shooting arrows all day to your hearts, to your souls, to melt in love. He's shooting. True or not? Yes. Alhamdulillah. And art is through love, through beauty, is the way to get to the people, no? So I, descendant of Cain, tried to make beauty in art, in painting, drawing, sculpture, da, 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 da. And sculpture always related to architecture, always. In the antiquity, you see in Egypt here, no? Mashallah. You have here, bro. No, no, the old, the old, 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 the oldest ancient traditions. Incredible, no? Pyramids, all this pharaoh stuff, all the Nile temples. Amazing, no? In that um, hard stone, basalt and granite. Kilometers, thousands of kilometers of uh, hieroglyphic writing. How they did this? When I saw these temples, I couldn't believe it, no? Couldn't believe it. That perfection of hieroglyphic falcons and uh, dogs and nubis and... Uh, Orus and uh, all these carved in the most hardest stones, which tools they had in that time, you know. No electricity to, to, you know, to carve this and to make kilometers. The tombs, you enter in a tomb, you enter in, like in a tube station, you know, in the Valley of Kings, a tomb full of carvings, carvings, even color carvings, kilometers. In, amazing, no? But anyway, Egypt. You have it here, no, mashallah. We came here to learn about these things. No? They are empty things now. They are shells, shells of a living uh, seashells. No, when you find a seashell in the beach, no, it's empty. No, when I went to these temples, they were empty. No spirit inside. No, first I came. I, came, I was not Muslim. Uh, Twenty-one years ago, I came to Egypt to Cairo, and I came to visit pyramids, Nile. Ta, 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 Luxor, Abu Simbel, all these things, beautiful, amazing, kilometers of hieroglyphic, but empty. No ruh, no spirit, no soul inside. It's an empty shell, no? It's like a school, no, no, no life anymore, no? But I saw, I, I, I saw a life in Islam. I heard the azan, I saw people running in the mosque, so, mashallah, no? And they asked me, no, why you Christian, you became Muslim, no? I am surprised also, no? no, but I have to say, I became Muslim because it's the last no, thing and it is the moral life, no? It's the green tree in prophecy, it's Islam. My Christian tree is not dry completely, but almost dry, no? Islam is green, no? Green is alive, no? You, when you go to a pharmacy, you have this um, caducity time, you say, when the... The, the time when the, uh, the medicine is finished, no, you have a date, no? Lasting, no? Fine, expiring, expiring date, no? And every medicine, I really, I, I, I always been very, you will see my, uh, in my uh, sculpture also, I always was very interested in spiritual life, no? So I, intend, I tried everything. I became um, Hindi, I re read the Vedas. Vedas, very important, no? The Veda, no? Vedanta. Vedanta Advaita. I, my book, my, my, my book was Bhagavad Gita, you know, very important book. I studied Chinese, no, I studied Tao Te King, very good book. From my Christian inheritance, I read the Injil, Bible, very good. But Alhamdulillah, when I came to Islam and I found Holy Quran, Quran alive, no? amazingly alive, no? So I, I said, okay, 
Islam, no? Fiery date, not yet in Islam, no? It's a still alive, no? So I gave up meditation, Hindi meditation. I gave up yoga, no? I was like yoga, <laughs> Tai Chi, no? All these things. I really made Tai Chi and uh, karate. All these things I did already, no? They are very good. They are very good learning, very good teaching, you know? But Alhamdulillah, Holy Quran is, no? They say only one letter, one letter in Holy Quran is got like uh, 70,000 secrets, no? When I will reach this, I will never know. But anyway, I am in it, no? And so I am very, very grateful to be explaining this in a Muslim country, and you have the Holy Quran. I, everywhere I go, they, you see the Quran, the book there, no? They, so there's the... Um, there's a, a, a big honor to the Holy Quran, no? And this is my next, my next objective, my next task, inshallah, to learn good Arabic, good Tajweed, you say, and uh, to get in the secrets of the infinite, never-ending secrets in Holy Quran. This is my next, what I would like, no? Yawadud, and something very, very happens, no? We said, Ya Malik al-Mulk, we knock at his door. He made uh, darkness just to make us feel, no? From where we come um, to where we will go, because we came from darkness, and we came from emptiness, and we are going to darkness and emptiness. But don't be afraid. So, Abdel Halim, next. Now look, the picture came like this, and then the knocker is already... It's a little big distortion with the thing, but anyway, this is in my house. I made this, uh, this is um, laser cutting steel, no? This is three centimeters thick steel cutting, and I'm opening. I was knocking the door, I'm opening the door now. I'm opening the door so you get inside. What is, what is behind this door is a secret, no? My wife, she knows very good. There's a very, there's a mountain river. It's a mountain river down there where we, we swim every day. Now go next. Don't, don't, if it's a little bit distorted, no problem. We are distorted already ourselves. No? I am distorted, no like. Let's go. This is the door without Abdel Wahid in front. Go. This is a detail. This is Muslim pattern. I'm very interested in these patterns, no? You will see why, no? Through these patterns, through geometry, you get behind geometry, no? I you will see I was making figures. I was making animals and I was making human figure very little. But when you get in a figure, you are always in the figure. You cannot go behind the figure, no? You are always... It's a, a thick thing, you know, the figure, even with the eyes, they're looking to you and... Uh, but when you get in a, in a geometric pattern, you get, you can get inside, no? So your soul is trespassing reality, no? Because it, this is also our task, to go behind reality, no? Because what is reality, no? We think reality is this, no? This is reality? After um, 20 years, 20 days, 20 hours, this will be finished completely. I am melting, I am oxidating, and I will be in the earth, no? What I was thinking today, tomorrow maybe, it's not important. The dreams in the night, you were there in a, in a, you were in a, in a, in a dreams, you were very busy when you wake up, dreams finish, no? The day of today, tomorrow will vanish. Life is vanished, that is not reality, no? Reality is another thing, no? Real reality, we write it with capital letters, no? Right there, no? And this is, you know, you study for architecture, you study a little bit of philosophy, is it, no? Very important, no? I was uh, studying the Greek philosophy, you know, Plato, Pythagoras, all those, uh, yes, you know? But Pythagoras and pa Plato was the popular of Pythagoras. Pythagoras is very important, no? Pythagoras, he was a, he was a big wali Allah, no? Pythagoras, Pythagoras was a sheikh. Wali, Sheikh, and Elam. Pythagoras, 
to enter in the school of Pythagoras, you have to 